So welcome, sillies, to what may be the most complicated mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I've played this mod a lot in the past, but I haven't played it in a very long time now. And it's been, um, updated. And as you can see by the new front page, it's very uh, infuriating because of economics and lag. Lag has become quite the issue. You now need a supercomputer to run this mod. It is quite unfortunate. So here it is, the marvelous economy system. Uh, as Japan, we have trade routes stretching all across the Pacific to our territory in Hawaii, all the way to the um, ports that we have in North America. Inflation is rising, but GDP is rising, and debt to GDP is falling. So I think that's a good thing. There's a lot of stuff here, and there's a good chance that if I try to change anything, I'll only make it worse. At least we have these notifications that let us know if something really bad is happening. Like we have this one for negative real growth, this one for inflation. It's a nice balloon. We'll be seeing a lot of balloons in the near future on this channel. <laughs> I'll have a little sneak peek into what's happening in the future here. Don't be concerned. I'm sure you'll love balloons soon enough if you continue watching the uh, shaky YouTube channel. There's an entire chapter in the Shakenomicon about balloons and soon, oh yes, yeah, soon there'll be quite a few balloons. <laughs> so hopefully you like uh, balloons. Then we have this one for extremely high deficit, one for critical debt, and then one for bloated reserves, and then I don't know what fiscal crisis is. Maybe that's just all of them. I think all of these are technically fiscal crises, but I I don't know. But yeah, as Japan, this empire is probably gonna fall apart. So we're going to have to financially deal with the effects of that. Um, I believe one of the first super events in the game is a financial crisis in Tokyo. So yeah, we may be having some issues, but I don't know. I've never played Japan even before this update. So I don't know. The game actually starts with the Hawaiian Missile Crisis, I think, unless they've changed it. There should, I, I believe there's a whole bunch of US destroyers around Hawaii. We just can't see it. We also have like a terminal here, but you can't, you can't type in it, <laughs> but it looks like you can do something. <laughs> also, I believe this is new. It's like the Cold War interface. The US is in the lead apparently, which, you know, it doesn't seem like like they're in the lead considering we own Hawaii and these ports, but they're there in the lead. Hello, Ambassador. It's President Richard Nixon on the line. We need to talk. Uh, better words have never been said, and by our favorite president, nonetheless, we are spared for now. Yes, that's the end of the Hawaiian Missile Crisis. And who still owns Hawaii? Why, it is us, Japan. And we will never let that chain unless they give us the Panama Canal. I'm willing to accept the Panama Canal. If they give us that, I will give them Hawaii because uh, think of all the control we will have if they give us the Panama Canal. And I know it's an option in the game and I really hope they do it. When I played America, I wasn't willing to save all the US citizens in Hawaii. No, no, I wanted the strategic control. And as Japan, I want that same strategic control. It'll be very, very useful for our future ambitions. Maybe, I don't know. Well, maybe we'll go conquer Brazil or something. And I'm not too worried worried about building a giant army. Usually in Hearts of Iron 4 you want to have a giant military industry, but here we are much more concerned about finances. We are playing a financial game. We are no longer playing a war game. So we will increase consumer goods willingly to make the people happy and prosper. We have a prime tax rating too, and we will not be letting that uh, degrade. We can also auto balance trade, which I think is the main feature vanilla Hoi4 needs is a way to automatically trade with people. So that's, that's very, uh, 
<laughs> Very nice. Kind of want to decrease money creation. And I feel like I'm going to destroy the economy if I do anything here. Maybe we can create some reserves. That'd be a smart idea. We need to have a strong navy and the nuclear spending can go down too. We already have enough nukes. An official agreement binding the co-prosperity sphere and organization of free nations to mutually respect their marine boundaries and security interests. I always have respected America so long as we control their ports and Pacific Islands, and soon the Panama Canal. And we will no longer build factories, for factories aren't the only building that nations build. I know, Hoi 4 might have confused you, but there are several other buildings that countries sponsor, such as schools, hospitals, prisons, army bases, and administrative offices. And we will be building a lot of schools, for we will need many places of education to teach our our new subjects once we expand the sphere and must teach them our ways. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Brazil. <laughs> Soon to be Japan too. And our empire is already falling apart as the game begins. We have communists rising up against our proud ally here in Singapore. And now we can send aid, but the issue is if we send more aid, we lose money. And uh, I don't know, they, they might make us some more money if we help them fight against against the Mongolian People's Front, but how profitable are they really? Is it worth it? There is not much here. There's one factory. That There's barely any resources. Is it even worth my investment? Probably not. Okay, and we're going to send some support to these warring nations within our sphere. We, of course, won't risk our financial integrity to help them, but we will use political power and command power to help them. I, I don't know what happened with inflation here. <laughs> uh, um, it's kind of confusing, but it looks like it went back to normal, so that's, that's good. And a detective has got a call about a murder mystery. I am quite the fan of murder mysteries and strategy games. We will search the workers. Yeah, that's... That's good. And Brazil wins the World Cup soon to not be just Brazil, but to be the Japanese colony it was always meant to be. Yeah, we're still doing the detective stuff, but our inflation has been kind of increasing. It's We're not in any sort of like financial crisis, so I think it's okay. Technically, we're purposely increasing the inflation to support the GDP growth, so this shouldn't be too concerning, but jumping from 2.5 five to three percent is a little bit much I feel like I I don't know I'm not a money expert because there's this help button yeah I probably I don't need help I I know what I'm doing we'll just invest the entire GDP into cute new clothes I'm surprised they haven't thought of such a thing yet I'm sure that'll fix our entire economy so yeah it is kind of a weird place that we're at right now because I know that inevitably we will have an economic collapse and there will be a potential coup so there's a lot that I'm kind of worried about and I don't know how much we can prevent compared to how much is just scripted to happen in the game because I've played many a TNO game. I've just never personally played as Japan, but I know that the financial crisis happens every time. So I, I think all this work Maybe for nothing, but we'll see. Ah, and our puppet state finally won their battle here. We didn't have to send any volunteers or directly intervene or anything, so we were able to keep our stability and our funds, and our economy will continue to grow. The battle down here still rages on. We cannot do anything with this one division. Maybe if I changed it to a tank, we could do something? But these are all jungle and mountain tiles, so yeah, tank wouldn't be effective. There are some plain styles in the north, but yeah, not much we can really do down there. Oh, and I forgot about this. The second one battle ends, another starts. Now the communists are trying to take over Mongolia. Yeah, there's a Russian warlord here who's able to invade. I don't know if I've ever really seen them win. I, I don't know if they can win. I guess they can like offer a peace deal and maybe get something out of it. But yeah, we won't be letting that happen, <laughs> ideally. 
And we got Madagascar on our side, which is a pretty nice development. It'll help um, our public approval a little bit. Um, some other bad things are happening though. Um, the economy is doing pretty good, I would say. So I think that things will be fine for now. Oh yeah, we lost this um, uprising though. So that's uh, kind of unfortunate. But at least we don't have any more conflict. For the um, Prime Minister, I'm going to choose the guy who's into finance. I I don't, I've never played Japan before, so I don't know for sure. Oh, I guess it's just Hirohito there for now, but I don't really know which path would be interesting. And we're, we're just doing this for the economics though. That's, everything's motivated by economics, of course. And despite the crazy political situation and more conflicts popping up in the Philippines and a vote for Jamaican independence. It's kind of getting a little spicy, but the economy is doing well. The green line is going up and the red line is going down. So I think that's a rather good thing. And we will provide a temporary tax cut, which will decrease our surplus, which is already pretty big. We're not even in a deficit right now, but it will increase growth. So later on, we will get more money. See, like we'll do that and now we have a deficit, but the amount of growth we have right now will make up for it. We can also go into military austerity to help out. I might even print some money. <laughs> I know, I know I'm terrible at inflating the currency, but it's um, worth it. Because the more the currency is inflated, the less um, the debt is technically, I guess, <laughs> maybe. Oh, um, it looks like there may be a uh, yeah, slight issue in the version of TNO I'm using. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is fun. This, this is very, very um, good. I'm sure this is meant to happen. So we won in the Philippines, which is good. That's some extra bonuses there. And we have a lot of new decisions to grow our economy down here by having bills, trying to get them to pass. And we have, we have a lot of support here. 92% support. Everybody loves us, except the technocrats. They don't really like us. And I guess the independents don't like us too much. The only issue is right now we have an economic warning sign. We have negative real growth. It may be partly due to inflation, which uh, I don't know. We're not even printing money, but um, yeah, we're getting a bit of inflation. So <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not, it's not good right now. Um, America is still doing well. They have a new president. Everything is going great. Nothing could ever go wrong in the OFN, I'm sure. I, I don't know. Our economy might not exist for much longer. I'm, I'm scared. I guess I could just purposely cause mass inflation and see what happens. That could be fun. If, if everything starts going downhill, I'll just um, print infinite money. A war in West Africa may start soon that we may be interested in the outcome. Free France is among them, which is, I don't know, concerning for us if Free France gets more powerful. I assume Free France is aligned with the OFN, at least slightly. We also have to reconstruct the Philippines before it's too late. I assume if we fail to meet the deadline, they will leave our uh, sphere. And with how the economy is going, we can't really risk it to getting much worse. We've done so much to grow and nurture it and still this just isn't isn't going well. Anyways, that's all for um, this first video. If you guys are interested, I will continue and make a series out of this where we continue to explore the economy and figure out if it's possible to save Japan or if it is destined to, to go into a state of mass inflation. Either way, I'm sure we'll have plenty of fun. Anyways, um, see you all next time.